Are you struggling to kill deer clubs? Hi, I'm Marlon7, and in this Don't Starve Together guide, I'll be explaining my favourite method for killing the winter giant, and what I believe to be the easiest method, which is to tank him. Deer Clops has 4000 health, does 75 damage to players, 150 damage to mobs, and has a sanity drain of 400 when in combat and 100 when out of combat. They will spawn near the player towards the end of winter, typically around day 30. The Eclops likes to destroy structures and will make short work of your base if he wanders into it, which can be devastating during winter. So as soon as you hear this sound, be sure to start running away from your base until Deerclops spawns. If you're not ready to fight Deerclops right when he spawns, that's not a problem, as he will not aggro onto you unless you are in range. You can simply run away from your base, when you hear the audible cue, wait for him to spawn, and then head back home and prepare to fight him or not. If you're not ready to start fighting Deerclops, you can just leave him be, and he will despawn once spring starts. Like everything in this game, surviving the fight with Deerclops will require some preparations to be made. You'll need four football helmets, materials for a campfire, a hand bat, and six pierogies. Football helmets require one pigskin and one rope to be crafted. Two large meat and one pigskin will be needed to make the hand bat. Side note, if you feed a pig man four monster meat, they will become a were pig, and killing were pigs will drop the exact amount of materials required to make a hand bat. Now you can probably get away with using a spear for your weapon, but this will prolong the fight significantly. So you're going to need a lot more pierogies and football helmets to survive the duration, along with enough logs to keep your campfire lit. You could also get away with using healing salves rather than pierogies, but you'll need to ensure you have plenty of them, seeing that they heal you for half of what the pierogies can. Okay, now that you have your supplies, let's go fight Deerclops. Go to the location you had him spawn, and build your campfire. Aggro the winter giant, and kite him back to your campfire. Pro tip, don't drop your backpack next to your campfire. Now, you can simply beat him with your hand bat until he dies, making sure to heal using the pierogies as you need to. The campfire stops you from being frozen by his AoE attack, and by being able to constantly attack Deerclops, you are able to actually kill him faster than if you were to try dodging his attacks. I started the fight with 4 football helmets and 7 pierogies. By the end of the fight, I still had 3 pierogies and 2.5 and football helmets. I did go completely insane however, because I didn't start the fight at full sanity. So be mindful of this, as you may need to deal with the shadow nightmares towards the end of the battle. I like to have a tent ready, or some sanity food, for after the fight, to top my sanity back up. Deerclops will drop 8 large meat, and his sketch, so you can craft his marble figure. But most importantly, he'll drop his eyeball, which will allow you to make either the eyebrella, or the houndiest shootiest. The Eyebrella is a hat that provides 100% resistance to rain and lightning, and 240 points of protection from overheating. Very handy for allowing you to use tools while staying protected from the rain. The Houndia Shootius is a late game permanent structure that will automatically attack mobs that are targeting you or mobs that you attack within its range, a great way to deal with hounds in the late game. Well that concludes my guide on killing Deerclops. I know this isn't the only method for killing him, but it is my preferred method. Tell us how you like to kill this one-eyed giant in the comments section below. And as always, please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more guides from me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.